Hello and welcome to Carbon Market News. Today the topic of the video will be how to invest in carbon. This will be more of a general video, not a very specific about specific companies, although I will mention a few. First of all, we got to acknowledge that the carbon markets are just getting started. The compliance markets are about 230 billion euros at the moment. And the voluntary markets, the only source I could find would be like $320 million. So very small at the moment, but uh, expected to increase in the future, especially till 2030 and then 2050, we're going to see huge increases in the carbon markets. From my research, what I discovered is that most things are still happening in private behind closed doors. The most most companies that are really heavy invested in carbon and the technology are privately funded. That means if you're not very well connected or are just a retail investor, you will not have access to most of the plays that are being made at the moment. But there's still a few investments that you can make right now and I expect there to be a lot more in the future and the markets to be a lot more easy and transparent. Right now many things are happening on many different exchanges and the market is kind of all over the place. So first of all, what are the possibilities of investing in the carbon markets as of August 2021? So first of all, we have auctions of certificates of carbon allowances. We can buy directly the carbon certificates and offsets and we can resell them. We can have exposure through carbon futures and also ETFs that are buying basically carbon futures. And then we have companies that benefit directly and also companies and sectors that will benefit indirectly. It must be said that the auctions of the allowances and also the futures will more or less only be available to you if you are an accredited a professional investor. You can buy certificates directly on the voluntary markets, but also the compliance markets are only available at the moment if you're a professional investor. So this leaves the private investor with uh, the possibility of directly buying the certificates from the producers investing in ETFs and investing in companies. Investing in the ETF is the easy version. The, the global carbon ETF has increased by about 2x since a year ago, so not a bad investment. Like I said, the ETF is the easy play, but for me personally, it's more interesting to invest in the companies themselves. And I think there's gonna be more and more companies who will offer direct exposure to the carbon play and it's going to be very interesting over the next few years. So companies that invest directly in carbon and or benefit from the higher carbon price. So we have the possibility of carbon capture companies. Most of them are private at the moment, although there are more and more public companies that focus on the sector of carbon capture. And then there are companies who work directly with the carbon project developers and have contracts with them, uh, like example, streaming contracts or just fund directly the project to get CO2 certificates. So carbon credits, more or less. For example, like Dutch Green Business and Carmen Streaming Corp. And then there's companies who invest directly in technologies and CO2 projects, for example, like Hannon Armstrong. But I think there are many more companies out there so if you want to get updates from me hit the subscribe button and like the video thank you very much but not only small companies are investing in carbon right now the big energy and oil companies are also venturing into carbon sequestration many of them invest heavily in carbon capture and storage i will release a separate video on carbon capture and storage in the future but it must be said, the big companies, they are focusing also on carbon because they need to be carbon neutral and they know what they have to offset. So keep an eye out also for the big energy and oil companies and especially the sub organizations from these companies that are in the carbon sector. But there are also sectors that will benefit indirectly from the carbon price. First of all, it's very big clean energy production. I'm thinking also about things like uranium. I think uranium will be in the future a carbon neutral energy source, a very big one. And I think we're going to invest in more energy production from uranium, but also things like solar and wind. 
And the second sector will of course be the battery storage and grid because the problem with volatile energies like solar and wind and everything green, most of them, is the storage capacity that you cannot that you cannot easily turn it on and off as you wish. So I think this will benefit also and this, this will trickle down to the to the resources also what is needed for to produce these kind of technologies. So this was a quick overview of how you can invest in carbon in 2021. I will keep you updated on companies and investment opportunities. For this, hit the subscribe button. And if you want, like and share the video. I would be very happy. If you have questions, post them in the comment section. I'm interested to hear from you guys. So this was it for me. Thank you very much and goodbye.